Hey, I'm Scott. In today's video, we're going to check out a 2018 Tesla Model 3. In today's video, I'll have a guest host, Umar Sayah, who will be demonstrating the unique features of his 2018 Tesla Model 3. In this video, I'll cover some of the unique features that are part of the 2018 Tesla Model 3. I will also list many features that are not part of the 2018 Tesla Model 3. Umar will review many of the exterior features of the car. I will cover some of the interior features of the car. Umar will demonstrate the summon feature along with the obstacle avoidance feature. At that point, we'll take the Tesla Model 3 out for a spin and demonstrate the EAP, the Enhanced Autopilot, along with the Auto Boost and the Auto Stop. We will also demonstrate how we can randomly find a place to charge the Tesla and how we did that using some connectors that comes with the Tesla. When we're done, we'll hope you see why some of these features make the Tesla Model 3 so special and why it's one of the most sought after cars of 2018. Here are some of the features that are part of this 2018 Tesla Model 3 that's featured in this video. It contains all-wheel drive. That's two motors, one for the front wheels and one for the back wheels. It's got regenerative braking. This helps recharge the battery whenever you're braking. It's got a battery chiller system. This is similar to a radiator and it keeps the batteries cool. It comes with eight cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and a long-range radar that's very useful in the enhanced autopilot. It comes with the extended range battery that gives you 310 miles between charges. It comes with two trunks, a rear trunk and a front trunk, a frunk, which is where the engine normally is at. It comes with the enhanced autopilot. It all comes, so it comes with speed, zero to 60 in under four seconds. Here are some of the items that are not included in a Tesla Model 3. There's no need for gasoline. There's no fuel tank. There's no fuel pump. There's no fuel filter. There's no fuel injector. There's no engine. There's no timing belt. There's no oil. There's no oil filter. There's no spark plugs. There's no wire harness for the spark plugs. There's no air filter. There's no O2 sensors. There's no mufflers. There's no catalytic converters. There's no emissions. There's no power steering pump. There's no transmission. There's no alternator. There's no serpentine belt. There's no starter motor. There's no throttle body. There's no PCV valve. There's many other things that are not included. But most of all, you don't have all those items that break down and cost you a lot of money to repair or replace in a traditional car. Hey everyone, this is uh, Umar Seal, and today we're going to look at my 2018 Tesla Model 3. So let's let's take a walk. So the first thing you notice about this car from the side is the door handles. How do you get in? Well, they're hidden, right? So you take you press this button, and the window rolls down. Then you pull on this handle to open the door. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the frunk, which is the front trunk. So here's the front trunk. Because there's no engine in this car, you have plenty of space to store something in your front trunk. This is a great place to store your groceries. And to close it, you simply put it down and you press on the T slowly. So now we're going to take a look at the trunk. How do you open it? While the car is unlocked, we just reach in and press the handle and it opens up. And you can see how massive the trunk is. Plenty of room. You can store a couple of bodies in there. But wait, there's more. And to close it, you simply put it down like a normal car. 
So to charge your car, there's a charging port hidden right here in your car. To open it, you can access it from the Tesla app. You press open charging port and boom, there it is. Closing it, while at a supercharger, it closes itself when you unplug it or you can close it from the app like that. So we're going to take a look at the cameras in this car. There's three cameras powering the autopilot in the front. One, two, three. And then we're going to take a walk to the side. There's one on each side right here. And then there's one camera right here on each side. And then there's a camera in the back. Right here. So now we're going to take a look at the sensors in this car. So there's four sensors in the front. One, two, three, and four. Now there are two sensors on the side. There's one on the front wheel well, and there's one on the rear wheel well right here. Two. And now we're going to take a look at the four sensors on the back. There's one, two, three, and four sensors in the back. And of course, there's two sensors on that side as well. So in addition to the 12 sensors and eight cameras in this car, there's also a long range radar in here powering the enhanced autopilot. So now we're gonna take a look at the summit feature in this Tesla. So now we'll have the car pull forward and we can do this through the mobile app, through the Tesla's model app. We can pull it forward and we've purposefully put the trash can there um, to stress test to stress test the obstacle avoidance. And now I'm going to go ahead and let it come forward. It's preparing to summon. And there it goes. It's pulling forward. I'm gonna detect the obstacle. And it should, there we go. It's, and look at that. There's no one in the car and it's moving forward, coming to me avoiding the obstacle and that's good enough I think I'll tell it to stop right here stop there it is once you open the front door and you try to get into the Tesla Model 3 the first thing you'll notice is how luxurious it is it's all leather interior they're definitely trying to compete with the BMW you sit down behind the steering wheel with that big T staring in front of you and you see the large windshield. You see the large 15 inch center display, touch screen, the infotainment system. It's all big, it's all nice, and it's all easy to see and read. You'll see the two dials on the steering wheel. These help you do any kind of adjustments you need on the infotainment system if you don't want to take your hands off the steering wheel. You'll notice the dashboard, the simplistic styling that's real wood there and then that long slot that's a controllable vent you'll notice that the three dashes slashes are everywhere and that's the symbol for the model three and uh, as a six foot one inch person there's plenty of leg room and headroom for me then you'll notice the panoramic roof it's quite impressive it goes from the front of the car to the back of the car it's very big it lets all the in outdoor inside the car it's awesome Once you open the rear door of the Tesla Model 3, you're surprised to find it's quite roomy back there. It's actually the same size as these other sedans that it's competing with, the BMWs. It's not what you would think you would find in an EV, an electric vehicle. During one of our test rides, we had five adults in the car, two adults up front and three adults in the rear. They had plenty of room. There's plenty of headroom back there. There's plenty of leg room back there. The panoramic roof, that really helps. That helps to eliminate that claustrophobic feeling that you usually get when you're in the back seat of one of these cars. So it's a nice ride. When you put the Tesla Model 3 in reverse, you'll notice how big that 15 inch infotainment center, that screen, that picture, that high def picture, that's really sweet when you're trying to back up. 
So when you put it in drive, the camera goes down. So you get the Google Maps and you can just drive from there. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the autopilot feature. Now that we have clear lines, steering wheel appears, that means we can engage the autopilot. And now we're in autopilot. So let's go ahead and change lanes. I'm going to give my turn signals to the left. And now we're in the other lane. Let's go back to the right lane. There we go. All right, I'm taking over here. And we're getting on I-65. It doesn't take turns, so we have to turn on a light ourselves. I'm going to engage the autopilot once more. Looks like the lane is ending, so let's change the lane. There we go. Seamless. And you can adjust the speed from the steering wheel. And it keeps you centered. Just like that. Now we shouldn't keep our hands away from the steering wheel. When we engage the autopilot, it says please keep your hands on the wheel. Be prepared to take over at any time. So Tesla advises you not to take your hands off the steering wheel. So you can't turn the autopilot off and go to sleep. Hmm. Must be like a regular old charging port, you know, charging station for all the cars. So this is not a Tesla specific. But you have a connector for that, right? Yeah, it has connectors. You can um, let me park it the right way. So we're in front of Kentucky Health Hospital. If you work here or are visiting someone, there is a charging station here where it passes 240 volts. It's like a household adapter. You have to use an adapter to convert it to Tesla adapter and it's charging. And it charges at 240 volts, so about eight miles per hour, 24 amps. Now we're going to, now the Tesla has detected clear line markings and a steering wheel is available. That means we can engage the autopilot. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we're in autopilot. Now I want to reiterate that Tesla does not recommend you take your wheel hands off the steering wheel. I just want to demonstrate that I am not driving the car at the moment. It is accelerating on its own and slowing down from the traffic on its own. At any given moment you can take over by putting this up, by putting this paddle up while you are in autopilot to disengage the autopilot. I'm going to pull it up now. We're off the autopilot and we can take over. <gasps> And 
that's enough. I'll, I'll put it back in autopilot. So it's detected the car and it's already slowing down on its own. And it's going to come to a complete stop all on its own. All right, that wraps up this video on a 2018 Tesla Model 3. This is the first time I've ever ridden around in one of these things. And it was very impressive. The finish and fit of the car, very luxurious. The technology of the car is impressive. The performance of the car was outstanding. As a tech nerd, this car's got my name written all over it. One day I hope to find one of these in my driveway. These electric cars by Tesla, they're the future. And the future's here now. Maybe one day GM, Ford, Chrysler, and those Asian manufacturers will catch up with Tesla. Hopefully you enjoyed this overview of the 2018 Tesla Model 3. Don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you dislike this video, hit the thumb down. If you got any feedback, leave them in the comment section below.